Hello dear students, in this video, I will start with the 50 unit probability. Here I will discuss about random experiment and sample space. I will also solve the questions from exercise 12.1 of chapter 12 from Applied Mathematics by ML Agarwal. Now first we will see what is a random experiment. We call an experiment as a random experiment if it has more than one possible outcome and we cannot predict the outcome in advance. Then such a such an experiment is called a random experiment. So, a random experiment is a process by which we observe something uncertain. So, this is with respect to random experiment. And here what is this outcome? This outcome is nothing but it is the result of a random experiment. It is only after the experiment, the outcome of the random, random experiment is known. Say for example, say we have tossing a coin. So, after tossing a coin, we know whether we are going to get whether a head or a, or a tail. So, an outcome, it is a result of a random experiment. Now, what is this sample space? The set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is called the sample space. Say for example, if, if the experiment is tossing a coin, then the sample space is head or tail. If the experiment is rolling a die, then the sample space will be the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Because when we roll a die, we may get any one of these outcomes. So, the set of all those outcomes that will constitute the sample space. And now coming to what is known as trial. When a random experiment consists of performing, consists of a performance which is repeated several times, then we call each one of them as a, as a trial. If we, if we toss a coin, say suppose five times, then each time we toss a coin, it is called a, a trial. Thus, a trial is a particular performance of a random experiment. Say for example, in tossing a coin, each trial will result in either head or tail. So, we have understood random experiment, sample space and the meaning of what is called trial. Now, we will see the exercise questions. Exercise 12.1, the first one, describe the sample space for the following experiments. The first subdivision, two coins are tossed. So, here first one, first subdivision. Let me draw a diagram to explain this. So, when we toss a coin, when we, we, we will either get a head or a tail. Here, when we toss the first coin, we will either get a head or a, or a tail. And then again, if we toss another coin, it will re result in another head or tail. And here again, when we toss another coin, we will get either a head or a tail. So, the sample space will be head, 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 tail, then tail, head and tail, tail. So, the sample space consists of head, 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 tail, then tail, head and tail, tail. So, this constitutes the sample space. The next is subdivision. One coin is tossed twice. Again, it is going to be the same thing. Here we have one coin is tossed. We will get either head or tail. And then after that, the same coin is again tossed. We will get either head or tail here and head or tail here. So, for the second subdivision also, the sample space is going to be the same. Head, 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 tail tail head and tail tail and now coming to the third subdivision three coins are tossed simultaneously here when three coins are tossed simultaneously in one coin we may get head or tail and then after that we have the second coin the outcome is either a head or a tail and then the third coin, 
head or tail. So, like this it goes. Again head or tail and here again head or tail. So, the sample space consists of head, 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 tail. Head, 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 head and then tail and then head, tail, head, head, tail, tail. Head, tail, head, head, tail, tail. And then we have tail, head, head, tail, head, tail. Tail, head, head, tail, head, tail. And then we have tail, tail, head and tail, tail, tail. So, tail, tail, head and tail, tail, tail. So, this is the sample space when three coins are tossed simultaneously. The next to subdivision, fourth subdivision, a coin is tossed and if head comes up, a die is thrown. So, in the fourth subdivision, when a coin is tossed, the outcomes are head or tail. And here it is given if head comes up, a die is thrown. So, if, if head comes up, then we have the various outcomes of throwing a die. The various outcomes of throwing a die are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, the sample space will be H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, and here if tail comes, we do not do anything. So, final outcome is tail alone. So, this is the sample space for the fourth subdivision. A coin is tossed, and if head comes up, a die is thrown. Second question, a box contains one red and three identical white balls. Two balls are drawn one by one without replacement. Write the sample space for this experiment. So, here we have a box which contains one red and three identical white balls. Here all the three white balls are identical. So, so it does not matter whether we draw the first ball or the second ball or the third ball. The Experiment is two balls are on, drawn one by one without replacement. So, we have to write the sample space. So, for the second one, the sample space will be here we can either draw the red ball first and then the white ball or white ball first and then the red ball or both white balls. Since there are only one red ball, these are the various outcomes of this experiment. The next question, third question, consider the experiment in which a coin is tossed repeatedly until a tail comes up for the first time. Describe the sample space. So, the, the coin is tossed until we get a tail. So, the sample space will be, if we get a tail, so that will be the first outcome. Then we may get a head first and then a tail or we may get a head, another head and then a tail or a head, another head, another head and then a tail and so on. So, this is the sample space for this question. Now, the fourth question. In team A, there are two boys and two girls. In team B, there is one boy and three girls. First, a team is chosen and then a participant. Describe the sample space. So, here we have two teams A and B. And in team A, there are two boys. So, let us have it as B1 and B2. And then we have two girls, G1 and G2. And then in team B, there is one boy and three girls. So, in B, there is one boy. And three girls, G3, G4 and G5. 
Here the experiment is first a team is chosen and then a participant. Describe the sample space. So here let me continue here. So S is equal to first the team is chosen and then a participant. So it can be A B1, A B2, A G1, A G2, then capital B small b that is the third boy and then b g 3 b g 4 and b g 5 so this is the sample space for this experiment the next question a coin is tossed if it shows head we draw a ball from a bag containing three blue and four white balls if it shows state we throw a die. Describe the sample space of the experiment. So here a coin is tossed and if it shows head, a ball is drawn from a bag containing 3 blue and 4 white balls. So let us take fifth question. Let the balls be B1, B2, B3, then 4 white balls W1, W2, W3 and W4. So, the sample space will be if it shows head, a ball is drawn. If it shows tail, a die is thrown. So, for head, a ball is drawn. So, HB1, HB2, HB3, then HW1, HW2, HW3, HW4. And then if if it shows tail, a die is thrown. Then the outcomes are T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 and T6. So this is the sample space. The next question. Suppose three bulbs are selected at random from a lot. Each bulb is tested and classified as defective or non-defective. Write the sample space of this experiment. So here three bulbs are selected at random and each bulb is tested and classified as defective or non-defective. It is like tossing a coin three times and we get either a head or a tail. So write the sample space of this experiment. So here, so let us try to draw the diagram. It is not required just for understanding. So, when we draw the first bulb, we test whether it is defective or non-defective and then we draw the, the next bulb and test whether it is defective or non-defective and then we draw the third bulb and test whether it is defective or non-defective. So, the sample space will be D, 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 N, then D, N, D, D, N, N, then N, D, D, N, D, N, then N, N, D and N, N, N. So, the sample space consists of all these outcomes. D, 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 N, then D, N, D, then D, N, N. Then we have NDD, NDN, then NND and NNN. So these are the various outcomes for this experiment. The last question, the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 are written separately on 4 slips of paper. The slips are then put in a box and mixed thoroughly. A person draws 2 slips from the box, one after the other without replacement. Describe the sample space of the experiment. So here the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 are written separately on 4 slips of paper and these slips are, it is put in a box after which a person draws 2 slips without replacement. We need to describe the sample space of the experiment. So here the various slips are 1, 2, 3 and 4 and here 1, 2, 3 and 4. 
So this ample space consists of 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4. Then 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4. Then 3 comma 1, 3 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 3 comma 4. And 4 comma 1, 4 comma 2, 4 comma 3 and 4 comma 4. So, so this is the sample space. So the person can draw either the, the first slip twice or the first slip will be number 1, then the second slip is number 2 or the first slip is number 1, the second slip is number 3. Or the outcome can be the first slip is number 1, second slip is number 4. Or the outcome can be the first slip is number 2, the second slip is number 1 and so on. So this is the sample space of this experiment. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.